In my time of study and reflection, I came across a book entitled The False White Gospel, Rejecting Christian Nationalism, Reclaiming True Faith and Refounding Democracy. It was written by the University of Georgetown professor and theologian James Wallace. He is a theologian who was originally raised as a conservative white evangelical uh, Christian and who was a member of an evangelical church. Wallace describes his own calling and mission to ministry as awkward by his experiences in the black church after he was kicked out of his white church in the midst of asking questions about race and justice as a teenager. He also leads the Center on Faith and Justice at Georgetown University. And we're in the library of Jim Wallace. Jim, it's great to see you. Thanks for joining us. Glad to have you here in my office. So Jim, very briefly, before we get into some of the nitty gritty of this, tell my audience who you are and what your influence is in Christian theology. Well, that's a good question. Some people call me a public theologian. Uh, activist for a long time. I started, founded, and ran Sojourners for a long, long time. Now I've moved to Georgetown, where they named this wonderful chair after my mentor, uh, tutor, teacher, friend. It's the Archbishop Desmond Tutu Chair of Faith and Justice, and then a Center on Faith and Justice. Jim. Well, you mentioned this uh, movement you've covered before. Well, a movement is afoot, a new movement is afoot that's growing to counter, to confront the kind of white Christian nationalism that's supporting Donald Trump. Uh, and it's very diverse, black churches. Black evangelicals are different than white evangelicals. People of color, Catholics, uh, Protestants, all kind of people. We pull together this wee weekend, all these people, and what we're saying is very simple. Uh, it's Christian nationalism versus Jesus. So much of the teaching of this movement that you covered, I believe is literally antithetical to the teachings of Jesus. So how do we restore genuine faith? The answer to bad religion, in my view, isn't no religion. I've got friends that feel that way. Some days I feel that too. But the answer to bad religion is better faith, genuine faith. So this movement that I'm uh, blessed to be part of is really trying to restore and reclaim Jesus in the midst of a public and political debate. 